Slokathon program. Uh, the participants were Tanvi Asundi, Rohan Asundi, Avani Balari, Sachi Hegde, Shivani Madhav, Varsha Apaji, Jay Apaji, Sneha Kurada, Sangeeta Kurada, Rishikesh Ayur, and Aditya Rahalkar. They have been guided and mentored by Swarna Kuro, who's been running the program for over 10 years, including uh, when I was at the Chinmay Mission. My name is Amar Valurapali. I um, graduated from uh, Shinma Mission Balihar in 1999 and attended uh, from fifth grade to twelfth grade. And uh, when I started, it was just uh, a few of us, four of us in my class in a house. And uh, the growth, obviously, since then has been amazing, um, which is what brings us here today. Um, there's simply need for more room at the Chinmay Mission. Um, before I started the Chinmay Mission, really, uh, Hinduism to me was uh, getting dragged to the temple um, by my mom on Saturday mornings and Sundays to uh, perform you know, various pujas. And that was really my understanding of Hinduism at that time. Um, obviously, there's a lot more to Hinduism, and I learned that really because of Balvihar. The rituals are also extremely important in Hinduism, but they do not teach you some of the knowledge that's really implanted in the in the Vedic, Vedic texts, and the Chinmay Mission really helped me learn that. And uh, without Chinmay Mission, I really would have no clue as to what my religion was really about. And I think there's a lot of Hindus, uh, especially my generation, Americans, who uh, really don't have a clue either. 
So that is really the importance of Chennai Mission. Um, and any of the graduates of my class could, you know, would, would agree with my words. It's, it's taught them a great deal. Now, if you've, thank you. If you notice as you walk in, there's several items on the tables outside. That is a part of our silent auction. If you notice, there's sheets by each item describing the item, listing what the starting bid is and what the incremental bid should be. Please uh, visit uh, those, your bids on a regular basis as uh, people will be gathering around the tables uh, marking down their bids. So please check uh, to see how your bidding process is going. At this time, I'd also ask you to please turn off uh, many cell phones. And uh, those uh, with children, please make sure that they're in the uh, designated babysitter rooms. I'd like to introduce our dance program next. It is entitled The Anjali. It will be performed by the children from the Kapel Flower Mound Chinmaya Mission Center, which is a satellite center started just this year. It is a, an invocation of divine blessings and has been choreographed by Saraswati Radhakrishnan, a student of uh, Natya Sikamani Chavali Sri Krishna. The participants are Ardra Venkatachalam, Anjali Chandra, Manika Damle, Savina Mandari, Shalaka Damle, and Shilpa Kudva.
please join me in welcoming Ashok Dandekar, President of Chinmay Mission, Dallas Fort Worth. Hi, Yom, and welcome all of you. Uh, today, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Chinmay Mission activities. Uh, uh, I know many of you have been here for a long time, but I see a lot of new faces today. So uh, let me share with you what we have done so far. Next. Our mission, as you can see there, is to provide to individuals from any background the wisdom of Vedanta and practical means for spiritual growth and happiness, enabling them to become positive contributors to the society. And our motto is to give maximum happiness to the maximum number of people for the maximum amount of time. And the products that we generate uh, out of Chinmay Mission are all like Amar Vallur Palli. So uh, I'm sure uh, all of your children who are coming here, you know, they will come out of Chinmay Mission, they will graduate out of Chinmay Mission uh, with pride in their heart about Hinduism. Next. Uh, this is a brief overview of the Chinmaya Mission organization. Swami Tejomananda, he's the head and the chairman of uh, the board, and he's also head of the Chinmaya Mission worldwide. And the other board members include uh, Sandhya Gawa, his secretary, UK Gupta is the treasurer, Prasad Vallurpalli, Nanu Patel, Venu Menon, Sambu Manta, and uh, Sunil Maini. And our uh, Acharya is uh, Brahmachari Uddhav Chaitanyaji. And all these activities that have been going on, uh, carried out by Chinmaya Mission, would not be possible without all the volunteers that we have. So I'm going to uh, uh, briefly mention some of the coordinators. Bal Vihar, as you know, we have now four sessions. We have grown so much. We have three sessions every week in Saket and one in a satellite center at Kapel Flower Mound area. And those coordinators are uh, Walli Subramaniam, Sharda Gupta, Gautami Vemula, and Maya Nair. And, uh, there are, we have more than 100 Bal Vihar teachers. Again, the Bal Vihar program cannot be successful without the relentless effort that has been put forward by all the <laughs> teachers for many, many years. Then public relations are handled by Venu Menon, publications by Sanjeev Khanna, festivals by Ramesh Kamath, temple by Rupali, maintenance Rajesh Mungia, satellite center Sambu Mantha, and cross-site uh, cross facilitation, Sandhya Gawa. In addition, as you know, we, have, we, offer, uh, we offer a lot of cultural activities also and cultural training, and uh, those are provided through language classes, dance, music, and other. The language classes are handled by uh, Nija State, and we have about 10 language teachers uh, and many languages we teach. Then uh, dance is handled by Gauri Shankaran, and we have two dance teachers, music by Natana, and you will uh, see some of the music uh, performance uh, uh, right after me. And there are many other volunteers also, more than 50 other volunteers who participate on a daily basis. Next. The property of Chinmaya Mission, uh, we started with about two acres of land in uh, north central Dallas. It's very conveniently located. It's called Saket, is uh, the abode of Lord Rama. And the, the, that's the main center. That's about 12,000 square feet. And in addition, we have two houses around, the, uh, around Saket. Uh, one is uh, used for cultural classes, and the other one is our uh, Acharya's residence. And the history uh, of Bal Vihar, as Amar mentioned, it started a uh, long time ago uh, in, in, uh, with Kura family and Gupta family in their uh, individual homes. And <clears throat> then we moved into a church in Plano area. And this uh, Saket, where Saket is located, that land was bought in 1998. And the building was completed uh, in December of 1999 and inaugurated by our uh, chairman, Swami, uh, Swami Tejo Mananji. And since then, the growth spurt has been just phenomenal. Uh, so much so that uh, we had to open satellite center in the Kapel Flower Mound area. Uh, this center was started uh, early this year, uh, and uh, it's in a rented facility at present. And uh, we are providing uh, Balvihar classes from kindergarten through eighth grade. 
And already we have number of students, 125 students. That's, that's been a phenomenal growth in, in such a short time. And more than 50 families have become members there. And uh, we are already running out of space. That's a good problem to have. And uh, we are looking for alternate location in the surrounding areas. Uh, this is the growth of Chinmay Mission, as you can see, uh, uh, starting in uh, fall of 99 uh, with about 100 students. Now we have over 720 students. It's just phenomenal. Um, uh, I've been told that Wall Street have been, uh, has been watching us, you know, how can uh, we keep our growth so high and so consistently. <laughs> And that also goes with the membership. The membership has been increasing tremendously. Uh, now we have over 550 members. Uh, and again, without the support from the membership and volunteers, this success wouldn't have been possible. Our main activities, as I mentioned, we have Bal Vihar. We are also weekday activities. Then we also uh, perform festivals, pujas, and uh, offer meditation classes. We also have Gita chanting, Shlokathan, what you just heard a little while ago. And in addition, we have cultural uh, activities in uh, dance, music, and so on, languages. Uh, our children are trained to uh, give back to the community. And that is through the community service that we offer. We have been doing it for a quite a long time. Uh, annual walkathons are held. Uh, in 2005, we donated to Plano Charity City House. In 2006, Boys and Girls Club of Collin County. Uh, our children visit senior uh, citizens' homes. We also help with Habitat for Humanity, their uh, home constructions. And Katrina Relief, uh, uh, the uh, membership came together and we uh, donated $10,000 to Dallas Mayor's Fund. And uh, also Captain Hope's kids, they came to us saying that uh, many, many small student, uh, children from uh, New Orleans area, they were displaced and they uh, moved to, um, to Dallas area and they did not, did not have any backpacks or books or so on. So within a couple of days, our children, you know, they collected 150 backpacks filled with books and all the other material, and we donated that to the Captain Hope's kids. That was just a phenomenal effort from our membership. We also helped with the tsunami effort. And, uh, you know, all this uh, uh, construction that we have, the property that we have, uh, it does take uh, money, and uh, the value of that is $1.6 million. And as of January early this year, we paid off all the debt, and we have been totally debt-free. And again, thanks to membership. <laughs> and the growth of Saket has been continuing relentlessly, and uh, again, associated with growth, there are many issues. And uh, some of the issues are listed here. The, the lobby is falling short in space. There's always congestion after each session is complete. And there's a main hall has been overcrowding. And uh, I'm sure most of you who have been coming here must have experienced that. Classroom area has been inadequate. Temple space is too small. We have been performing pujas on a regular basis. And uh, there, there's been more and more interest from membership in attending those pujas. And the temple has been falling very small. Um, also, the office space has been very, very tight. So our short-term vision is uh, to expand the socket facility. And uh, some of the features of uh, this expansion are we are going to add 8,000 square feet of space. Uh, that will provide expanded lobby, eight more classrooms. It will double temple size. Uh, it will have multiple entrances. That's one of the um, congestions, the bottlenecks that has been. There is only one uh, entrance in the, uh, in the middle. And now we are going to provide also entrances on the side. There will be more space, and also there will be a dedicated bookstore space. Continuing with the short term, uh, we are also seeking additional parking uh, space from neighboring businesses. We are going to be talking to them very soon, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll have it resolved uh, early in the next year. So Amit Ejumanji, our chairman, has approved uh, our expansion plan. And the work is uh, expected to start around May of 2007, at the end of the Baal Vihar session. And uh, it will uh, end by September of 2007. So during the summer uh, uh, break, all the expansion will go on. The initial cost estimate, again, it's very initial, very uh, rough. It's about half a million dollars. Uh, this is the uh, front view of the expansion. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, on the side, you can see uh, both left and right side uh, of Saket, 
there's going to be mirror images. It's going to be a three-story construction. And this is the, uh, from the side, as you can see, there's going to be an entrance here. And uh, uh, again, it probably it's very difficult to see from uh, distance. But we are going to have uh, the renderings, the pictures of renderings with description outside here and also in Saket. And this is the uh, plan or the top view for uh, the engineers in the, uh, in the crowd. You know, it may be very interesting for you. Uh, <laughs> it can't read, but... <laughs> and uh, going forward, the long-term vision, as we started one satellite center in Klop, uh, Koppel uh, Flower Mound area, the goal is to establish more satellite centers uh, around the metroplex. Uh, we have uh, received a lot of interest from Murphy area, uh, Rockwall area, and so on. So going forward, these are some of the uh, uh, areas that we'll be targeting for building satellite centers, which will include um, a building of their own. Maybe we'll build a big hall over there. And also, at the same time, we'll continue on the rezoning of uh, the current property, which is Saket and the surrounding houses. Uh, we are going to uh, uh, try and create um, rezoning so that we can do some more expansion in, in that area also. So that's the summary of uh, Chinmaya Mission uh, DFW. Thank you very much for coming. And it's going to be a very interesting uh, evening uh, for all of you uh, presented by children of uh, Chinmaya Mission. Hari Om.
The first song you heard was in praise of Lord Krishna. It was composed by Sada Shiva Brahmendra in Ragam Hindolam Sata Adi Talam. Composed, the second song was the Shiva Panchakshara Strotram. It was composed by Adi Shankaracharya, rendered in the Ragam Malika set to Kandu Chaputalam. Forgive the uh, pronunciation. <laughs> uh, participants, participants were Abhirami Subramanyam, Avanika Kanna, J. Sri Rajgopalan, Kavya Valivedi, Kashyap Valivedi, Megana Bellari, Priyanka Melgiri, Raghav Vemala, Rashak Sridhar, Rashmi Kamath, Sarvani Bharatam, and Shruti Hegde. And on the tabla was Vivek Ram. The, the music program has been organized by Natana Valivedi for the last four years. Um, it is, she's been the music teacher for several, uh, several years at Chinmay Mission and uh, has done an excellent job. Next, we'll have the Gita chant. Thank you. Next, we'll have the Gita chanting. Participants in the Gita, Gita chanting were also participants in last year's Gita Chapter 2 chanting competition, which has been uh, an effort run by Ramesh Hegde, who's been their guide and mentor. This year, there's also, participa there's a, also a competition among adults. The adults will be performing the Gita Dhyanam, and the children will be performing the second chapter, slokas 11 through 30. The adults will be Anu Apaji, Sai Apaji, Sumana Hegde, Ramesh Hegde, Manju Menon, Suchitra Rahalkar, Padma Vempati, and Kalpana Raman. The children include Varsha Apaji, Jay Apaji, Avani Balari, Megana Balari, Pranav Devala, Shachi Hegde, Shruti Hegde, Rashmi Kamath, Sneha Karada, Sangeeta Karada, Ramya Menon, Anjana Ram, Abhirami Subramanyam, Bharati Sankara, Kavya Valivedi, Kashyap Valivedi, Shila Varadhan, Krishna Vempati, and Raga Vemula.
प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनीना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वासंदा भगवद्गीते भगवदीषिणी नमोस्तु ते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे फुल्लारविंदय तपत्र नेत्र ये नया भारत तैल पूर्ण प्रज्वालि ज्ञानमय प्रदीप प्रपन्न पारिजाताय स्त्रेत्रकपाण ज्ञानमुद्रा कृष्णा गीतामृतुहे नम सर्वोपनिषदो गावो दोग्धा गोपालनंदन पार्थो वत्सुधीर्भोक्ता दुग्ध गीतामृत महत वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचाणूरमर्दन देवकी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु भीष्मद्रोणतटा जयद्रथजला गांधारनीलोत्पला शल्यग्राहवती कृपेण वहनी कर्णेन वेलाकुला अश्वत्थम विकर्ण घोरमक दुर्योधना वर्ति सोतीर्णा खलु पांडवैरण नदी कैवर्तकेशव पाराशर्यवचसरोजमल गीतागंधोत्कट नाख्यानकसर हरिकथा संबोधना बोधि लोके सज्जन षटर पेपीयम मुदा भूयाद्भारत पंकज कलिम प्रध्वंसी न श्रेयसे मूकंकोतिचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यम वंदे परमानंदमाधव यं ब्रह्मेन्द्र रुद्रमुता सुन्वती दिव्यस्तव वेद सांगपद्रमोपनिषद गायम साम ध्यानवस्थित तदेन मनसा पश्यम योगिनो युसुरासुरगण देवाय तस्म नम देवाय तस्म नम गता सुनगता सु 
सुश नानुशोचंती पंडिता नेवाहम जातुनासम नमे जनाधिपा न भविष्याम सर्वेमत परम देहिनोस्था देहे कौमारम यौवनम जरा तथा देहातर प्राप्ति धीरस्त्र न मुख्यति माता स्पर्शास्तु पौंतेय शीतोष्ण सुख दुखता आगमापाइनो निस्वारत व्यथयंथे ते पुषं पुषर्षभ समुख सुखम धीर सोमृतवाय कल्पते विद्यते भावो विद्यते सतः उभयोरपि दृष्टोंदर्शि अविनाशि तद्धि सर्वदम तत विनाशम व्यय सर्मति अंत मे देहा निोक्ता शरीरिण अनाशिनो प्रमेय तस्मादुदस्वेति हम यते हतम उभौतौ न विजानीत नन्ते न जायते मृते वा कदाचि नाम भूता भविता वूय अजो निशाश्वत पुराण नन्ते हम शरीर वेदा विनाशिन निमचम्यय कथम स पुष पाठ कम घातयति हंति कम वासी यथा विहाय नवानि गृहति नोपरा तथा शरीरा विहाय जीर्णा अमयादि नवानि दे नयनम छिंदी शस्त्रा नयनम दहति पावक नैनम क्लेदयप न शोषयति मारुत अच्छेदम अक्लेो शोष एव निगतस्थु अचलोय सनातन अव्यक्तोयचिंतम अच्छ मन्यसे मृतम तथा पिवं महाबाहो नैवं शोचितुमर्हसी जातस्य हि ध्रुवो मृत्यु ध्रुवं जन्म मृत तस्मादिहारे थे नम शोचितुमर्हसी अव्यक्तादी भूता भारत
I'd like to emphasize at this point how difficult it is for the children to learn um, those Sanskrit words. They spend a lot of time studying the Gita and learning each word and figuring out its meaning. And uh, it's impressive that they're able to master it. So let's give them another round of applause. <laughs> also, please join me in, in welcoming the mayor of Irving and his wife, Herbert and Christina Gere. At this point, I would like to invite Swamiji, Swarnakura, and our three Slokathon winners to the stage. Slokathon is a name that implies, in its meaning, is that it's a compilation of 250 famous slokas that were printed by the Chinmay Mission that go into a book. These children learn all of those slokas and master them, and when they complete all 250, they receive a trophy. This year, we have three winners. They are Varsha Apaji, Jay Apaji, and Aditya Rahalkar. Our first winner is Varsha Apaji in the second grade. She also, she also won second place in last year's Gita chanting competition and first place the year before. And also learns vocal Carnatic music and Bharat Nacham. So her schedule is busy. Hmm. I'd like to invite her to say a few words at this point if she'd like. I am delighted to have finished Shlokathon. I started learning Shlokathon two years ago. At first, I was thinking I would not finish Shlokathon, but it was wrong. I am grateful to Swamiji for telling us to learn Shlokas. Shlokathon has helped me a lot in other chantings of Sanskrit. Children who are doing Shlokathon will find most of the Shlokas easy. 
Some were very hard for me. For example, Yamunashtakam, Nitimala, and Gita Dhyanam. I am thankful to Lalitanti, Suchitranti, Nitinankal, Ramanankal, and my mom and dad. I am now learning Tamil slokas such as Thirupave. Shlokatan also taught me that hard things you think you cannot accomplish have if you work hard. Hario. Our second winner is Aditya Rahalkar in the eighth grade. Aditya has been attending Balbihar from first grade. He placed first in the Gita chanting competition. He's also done extremely well at school. He's earned a state level recognition for his SAT scores in the seventh grade as part of the Duke Town Search program. <laughs> It feels great to be standing here today after completing Shlokathan, a marathon of 40 stotras made up of over 275 shlokas. Shlokathan is a test of one's commitment to stay with something that is not easy to learn and memorize. Like most kids, I had my, tr- I had my time that I troubled my dad and my mom. But my dad said to me, it will sharpen your memory, make your tongue flexible, and your speech fluid. Honestly, I did not believe him then, but this year, I've started French. I found that I can pronounce every new word with ease while others struggle through it. In the beginning, I did have my share of troubling my mom and dad and drove them crazy at times. Boy, am I glad that I'm the one standing here and not them today. (laughs) Because I can't read Devanagari, I learned all the stotras by reading the transliteration. It took time and patience not just for me, but also for my parents. It was truly a team effort, and I would like to thank all those who did their part in making this happen. I would like to start by thanking Swami Chinmayanandaji for establishing the mission. It is his vision and grace that has given us the opportunity to come here and learn all the things we get to learn. Swarna Aunty for introducing the Shlokathon program, Shraddha Aunty for starting Shlokathon classes, my dad, who is my Shlokathon teacher, my mom and Lalidanti, who are testing teachers, and our Samiji for making Shlokathan classes structured. These classes really helped me complete some of the most difficult chapters, like Prakarna Stotrani. I want to thank Samiji for one more thing. After completing all the Stotras, he allowed me to be, to be a teacher assistant in Shlokathan class. I've been doing it for a few months now, and believe me, it feels great to teach. <laughs> I can't forget to thank Sushmanti who taught me how to read the transliteration during Gita chanting. It was winning the first place trophy in Gita chanting that really boosted my confidence and prepared me for Shlokathan. While Gita chanting gave me immediate reward, Shlokathan tested my commitment for a long time. Gita chanting is like a sprint, while Shlokathan is a marathon. I wish to thank my mom and dad for for motivating me to take up Shlokathan. They also taught me how to correctly pronounce every word and every shloka with proper tune. Both my mom and dad were very strict about how to pronounce and chant. My dad sometimes made me pronounce a single word many times to ensure that I did it right. Both my mom and my dad were very strict to me. While my mom only allowed three three prompts for every other kit she tested, she never allowed me more than one prompt. That too for the longer and difficult sutras. They had really raised the bar for me. Finally, no learning is said to be complete unless Guru Dakshina is offered. But I had a dilemma. What can a kid like me offer? And guess what? Shlokathan helped me there too. In the last chapter in Shlokathan, I learned a shloka. Patram pushpam phalam toyam yome bhaktya prayachati tadaham bhaktyuparitam ashnami prayatatmanaha which means, when offered with pure mind and devotion, God lovingly accepts a small leaf, or a small flower, or a fruit, or even plain water. Therefore, as Guru Dakshina to the mission, I would like to offer $101, which I earned this year in pocket money. Hari Om.
Our third winner is Jay Apaji in the fourth grade. Jay started the Slokathon program when he was in second grade. He placed third in last year's Gita Chani competition. And he's also learning Carnatic music and Mridangam. I'm glad he came up here because he was feeling very sick. I was just thinking that he would miss this opportunity, but I'm glad he made it. Two years ago when I started Slokathon, I thought, I thought, I will never get finished with this, but that all changed. Soon I could test a lot of shlokas in one test. That was just the beginning. As I neared the end of Slokathon, the shlokas became longer and harder. Also, pronouncing words became important too. Shlokathon has helped me in pronouncing Sanskrit as well, I mean, well and Gita chanting. To me, finishing Slokathon means achieving a big goal and good points from God. After I finished Slokathon, I was very excited. This goal was very challenging. It took a lot of repetition to memorize the slokas. <laughs> One thing we did was stick the sloka sheets on the shower glass so I could say it in the shower. <laughs> we also learned slokas in the car every day on our way to school. Soon it became easy again. The last sloka I tested for was Gita chapter 15. I will never forget how long and how much work we did in shlokathon. I want to encourage all my friends to take up the challenge of Slokathon. I am thankful to Sachitranti, Lalitanti, Swarnanti, Manishanti, and my parents for teaching me. Now, now that I have finished Slokathon, I am learning Tamil Pasarams. This time I'd like to invite Swamiji to give us his keynote address.